Welcome to the Homeschool Together podcast. Where one working mom and a stay-at-home dad help you navigate the nuts and bolts of the growing and dynamic world of homeschooling. With a focus on early learners. Like me! All the ins and outs of building and maintaining your homeschool life. Homeschool! Find out tips and tricks to make things like this easier. I'm reading! And ultimately, enjoy educating your kids. And what's that last thing? Have fun together! Did I do good, Daddy? (laughs) Yeah, you did, sweetie. Good job. Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together Short Bite Edition. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what we normally do for our Short Bite Editions. We're going to be taking actually one of our YouTube videos that we just put out and we're going to be putting the audio here on the feed and we wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction before you actually listen to it because it might feel a little awkward. It may not be our normal flow Mm -hmm. that you see in our, you hear in our podcast. Um, We'll just be playing the audio. So if you want down in the show notes, there's a link to go over to YouTube and actually watch the video. This is A video series that we're going to start now and we're going to continue all the way to the end. We have done a podcast on this before where we have combined the Build Your Library and the Torchlight K curriculums where we are combining the countries and we're doing them as kind of like a joint kinder program. And Ariel has talked extensively about it. She has a number of Trello videos. We'll also link the Trello video in the show notes below so you can see how she actually planned it. We wanted to bring this to you just kind of like a FYI to the podcasters to let you know that we're on the YouTubes and we're trying to do this. And it's a video. It's a, you actually get to see us in front of our thousand books <laughs> and it's a lot, it was a lot of fun. It was very nerve wracking for Ariel and I, cause you know, doing audio is fun and it's easy cause I get to stare at the books while my wife talks and I can really focus, <laughs> you know, but actually performing in front of the camera is a, is a step up for us. But I think I think we did really well. I thought I thought we enjoyed it. I so think so. It's the, uh, the whole goal of this is to do a review at the end of every country, and we wanted to not to go into like super deep depth on like every single book in the curriculum because some of that's proprietary, and we wanted to make sure we protected um, the the Build Your Library and the Torchlight curriculums. We will only talk about content that is publicly available you know, on their book lists, and also books that we have recommended through our you know, our study guide and the unit study guide, um, our reference guide that's in the show notes as well. And then also things that we didn't like, things that we might want to change up because we will probably be doing this again with our second daughter um, in a couple of years when, when she when she gets there as well. One of the things with the the audio here is <laughs> like all things, when you do the when you do minimal viable product, <laughs> um, the audio was good. But it wasn't great. And it wasn't as good as like you would expect with our well, podcast. Our podcast it wasn't quality. our podcast quality and we felt bad about that. We will be upgrading. We just bought some really new sexy lavalier mics. <laughs> yeah. And we, that are gonna be really great. They're gonna this. be really great. So the going forward the the pod the these episodes will have really, really good audio. We've already tested it, it looks really good. We bought lights and we're all this fun stuff for it and hopefully it's something that's exciting that you like. And we won't do these intros again going forward, but we will just let you know kind of what we're trying to do with it and hope, hopefully you guys like it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have, if you know anybody else who's kind of doing these around the world combined curriculums, you know, share this with them. I think they'll enjoy it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well and you'll get notified when those come out as well. Um, um, yeah, we're hoping to go over the our, the main books that the curriculum mm-hmm. calls out each week. So that'd be the chapter books and the, the main literature picture book selection. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about the movies that we watched to pair with it because we're a big movie family. Uh, we'll talk about games that we may have played, recipes that we made. So it's kind of that. And we're one of the things I'm hoping, we're also going to do, uh, I did a full book review of The Very, Very Far North, which was the first book that we read for this. Um, and that's under a separate video, which is linked on the YouTube as well. Uh, so what I plan to do is a book review for each chapter book that goes into a little bit more depth because that is something you're spending multiple weeks reading. Um, The goal here for us is hopefully to inform for those folks who have not gotten to this stage yet maybe and want to know what books they should buy and not buy. That's the question that always comes up, right, is there's a lot of books called out for Build Your Library and for Torchlight. And if you're combining them, that's like double the books. Which ones do I buy? Which ones were really worth it? And we're hoping that we can give that insight so that you can know like – 
this was a great buy or maybe, you know, you might want to check this one out from the library first and see if it's really for your family before you purchase it. So that's, that's the goal here is, is hopefully to, to help the families. And if you're doing this study too, you can kind of follow along with us as we mm-hmm. make our journey uh, every other week and you know, see what we did for each country. So. Yeah. So do you remember what you're about to hear is audio from a video. So if, if we're talking about things that we're showing, obviously you can't see that. So feel free to head over to there or just, you know, listen to the podcast, see if it's something that's interesting to you. Um, I think we'll drop these episodes, kind of little extra things here and there in the podcast feed to just, you know, we think, hey, this might be interesting or might be useful to you guys. We'll we'll release these as podcasts as well if you're not really a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I primarily go podcast and YouTubing. So YouTube and podcasts are my main things. I don't really do as much social media. Ariel's a lot better at that is, than I am. So these are two mediums that I really enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So here's our first episode where we review uh, Canada. Canada. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Uh, we're, we go up north to Canada. So hopefully you enjoy our first review of the Around the World Study Canada review. Welcome to Homeschool Together. That is Ariel and I'm Matthew. And you've probably been listening to our podcast. We hope so. We hope so. Um, but we're going to be doing a little bit of videos now and kind of going through our Build Your Library torchlight combination mm-hmm. that we were, we're, we're embarking on right now. Right. We've just done our first country. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk about Canada today, but we're going to continue doing these videos, kind of summarizing all the various countries we're going to go to, mm-hmm. all the various regions. And we want to talk about the books, what we liked, what we didn't like. And we'll go through a number of recommendations here. We have books in our hands right now. <laughs> um, but if you're listening to this and you're wondering, it sounds like they're doing some show and tell, head on over to the YouTube channel and you can be able to watch this video. So to the podcast listeners, yeah. head on over. So let's begin. Um, Canada. That's the first country in this combination. Right. So our combination starts with a week of Build Your Library and then a week of Torchlight mm-hmm. that follows the same country. So Build Your Library was Canada. Torchlight is Canada and Alaska. So there's some combo in there. Uh, we chose to read the literature selection from Build Your Library, which is the very, very far north. Very cute. Very this cute. is a fantastic book. Definitely, we're going to do a full review on this. So you can check that out in the show notes yeah, because we'll it's worth it talking below. about. We'll link it down um, below. Yeah, but this is the book that we read over the two weeks that we studied and mm-hmm. really enjoyed this book. Yeah, it was super cute. Um, the next one was Bear Goes Sugaring. Yeah, so. I love this book. It's super great. The author is also the illustrator. This gave so much information about maple syrup making. I mean, it even told you what size drill bit to get for yeah, the tree. Yeah, definitely had the, definitely had the five-year-old looking out the window going, is that a maple tree yeah. I could tap into? No, it even has identification in the book about mm-hmm. how to tell which is a sugaring maple and not. Exactly. So it's if you're looking good. for a book that is really uh, educational about maple syrup making and not just fluff, this is great and it has great illustrations all done by the same author. So we really enjoyed Barago Sugaring. And I do have a video where we go into this in detail if you look in the show notes too and we kind of walk through this book. Yeah, so the next one is Carson Crosses Canada. And if you think Carson is a young little boy, you'd be wrong. <laughs> it's a cute Car- little dog. <laughs> yeah, this book is really great. This is the Build Your Library literature selection for mm-hmm. Canada. Um, we could not get out Akalak's Adventure from Torchlight. They didn't have it in our library, but they did have this one. Uh, This was fantastic. It's the journey of Carson and his owner, Annie, as they go across Canada. And it goes through all the different landscapes. Yeah, I think that was the biggest part that I think... It was really nice. It was was one of the first books, I think, really just touched on the the breadth of what Canada offers. Right, Canada is such a large country. And to be able to boil it down to to just Arctic, which we felt like a lot of this section did talk about it just being Arctic tundra. Yeah, we'll we'll go into a little bit. About that. Changes but that's book, yeah. what was really nice about this book is that it really showed all the different landscapes of Canada. So this for us was a definite buy. If your library doesn't have it, we would pick this book up mm-hmm. because our daughters absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's really good for the dog owners. Yeah, we we own the dog. She's sitting right over here, uh, just off camera. <laughs> the um, chocolate lab. Really good for you know those dog owners and the kids who have dogs. Yeah, you know, we're not really the cat people. Oh, we're no. not cat people. Oh, no. He's allergic. Oh no, the unsubscribers are coming. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but we really loved that book. It was very yeah, sweet. It yeah. was a terrific um, book for a kindergartner. It wasn't above her head and yeah. just perfect. Well, and then beyond that, you know, through the books, through the mind, but also through the belly, we, we did a lot of food study stuff as well. We did. So yes. from Fri- fried Canadian pancakes. Yes. Yeah, so we made bannock bread, Super which we served. It, it's kind of like a, almost like a quick bread type, but like a quick biscuit 
type of mix and then you fried it and put it with maple syrup. It was from the uh, Cooking Class Global Feast book, mm -hmm. which is now the Build Your Library um, kitchen classroom book for mm -hmm. for um, this study. And it, it was, was really it was easy very to easy. make. Definitely and something. Very yeah, that's some, definitely something you can do. I did it with my two year old and my five year old. So. And I didn't destroy the kitchen, so it actually went pretty Right. Pretty if you well. check out our Instagram, you can see pictures of how it turned out. But really tasty, and I don't know that it's a good thing that we know that well, recipe. You can, you can obviously tell I ate a lot of banana bread. So. Yeah, it was really dangerous to know how easy it is to make those, but our daughters absolutely love that activity. Well, and then something you did with the curriculum is you added in the movie. And so what, what right. was the movie? We, we always, you know, we're a big movie family. We always yeah, like we to watch movies. movies. We always like to fold in, you know, kind of like the area with the movie or like the theme of whatever we're learning for mm -hmm. that, that, you know, week or whatever into a movie so we can have a nice reward at the end of the week, especially right. for our younger daughters. Um, they, they love watching movies, you know, Disney movies, things of that nature. So what, what was the movie selection for this week? So we chose Fly Away Home, which I think is a 96 movie. Yeah. So Jeff Daniels, Anna Paquin, about a girl who comes to live with her father out after the death of her mother. So there is a bit of a car crash scene at the beginning. It was very light, but if you have some sensitive um, mm -hmm. learners, you may just skip past the very, very beginning. But basically, she comes to live in Canada, and she adopts, or these geese kind of adopt her, and she has to help them fly to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So lots of great views of Canadian countryside, and it was just a very sweet movie. My five-year-old absolutely loved it. Just great visuals and great mm -hmm. music. I think there was one curse word, but otherwise it was a very pretty wholesome movie. So pretty wholesome. Yeah, so we really liked it. Let's talk a little bit about the changes we've done. So what were the, maybe let's talk about the first thing that we would maybe change if we did this again. Maybe, so we have a two-year-old, two so we will be doing this again. Right. So these are kind of the changes that we might like tweak and, and kind of change, you know, as we do the curriculum again. So what was that first change that we did? So I felt like, uh, aside from Carson Crosses Canada, both Build Your Library and Torchlight had a real bias towards the Arctic towards you know all in northern canada even alaska nothing talked about the southern regions the, tro the tropical area of canada <laughs> yeah. yeah so we live very close to vancouver because we're in seattle yeah. and there was nothing about any of the big canadian cities vancouver quebec toronto mm -hmm. so that w we felt like was a bit lacking we there, would probably was, add was, in some more there was one reference to a girl in uh quebec but other than that it was oh, wait, always children like me. it was always very northern section of canada which i mean it was beautiful it was fun we you know we did a lot of google google earth kind of moving around right but from the standpoint of like really connecting with the idea that maybe our daughter could actually go to one of these cities right you know vancouver's right up the road from us so right i think what we'll do is we'll probably focus on maybe a close city maybe we'll re recommend that to you guys as well to maybe pick a city that you're close to or maybe mm -hmm. a, a city that you might actually visit um, and then focus and study on that. That was a nice little change I think we'll do. Yeah, I think that that was a really good idea. Um, it just didn't, it, it didn't seem to embrace the fact that there's so many different cultures in Canada. You know, we're working mm -hmm. on the United States now and we'll do a <laughs> review video for that, but I'm already seeing all the multicultural references brought in from mm -hmm. both the curriculums. And I didn't really see that in Canada. There is a lot of different cultures that have come together in mm -hmm. one place. Absolutely. And so I feel like we would embrace that more the next time we go through because our daughter had this impression that Canada is just all snow and ice and tundra all the time. And that was uh, <laughs> not quite accurate. I did see I did see a, a picture of Alberta. It's uh we're in April here and there was snow. Well, I'm not saying it's not chilly. It is chilly. I'm just saying that her view of it was that the entire the entire country was northern tundra and we were telling her that we might go to um, you know, Whistler in the summertime and yeah, it right. would be all wildflowers and pretty and she was it's like, like oh. yeah, I don't think so, Mama. So think that was something I think we would change. Um the next thing I think we, we we did change and I think it was a good change for us is um one of the spines is the children like me. Which is uh, a fabulous book. It's by a fantastic the way. book and we have two versions of it. We have an older version, we have a newer version. I happen to have the 95 version, so why not? And, and they, are, they are very different, so if you end up finding both copies, it's just like a nice addition where you can get an extra, yeah. you know, two pages to read and whatnot. Well, it's kind of cool because it shows the change in every country yeah. over 20 years. It's 1995 and then 2015, <laughs> the so that's kind of cool. The clothes, you know, the older one really reminds me <laughs> of the 90s. Um, but the one that we've added in, um, we've added in Celebrations, uh, which is basically on their Children Like Me kind of, it's kind of like a series of books. Right. Yeah, and so that's basically the Celebrations. Celebrations one is one that we've added and then also the one I think I really liked a lot which is a school like mine now I know we are homeschoolers mm -hmm. but the each page and each kid that they kind of showcased 
showed more of like what their lives were like yeah. and not as much about their school. They did show like the school building, yeah. but other than that, it was more about their lives. Yeah, and... it's really just pictures of the kids and everything. And, you know, for our daughter, the five-year-old, she, she really gravitates to, you know, learning about other kids and just, mm -hmm. you know, interacting with other kids, seeing other kids, see what other kids do in other countries. And I thought that book was a, a nice addition. So if you have a chance to add that to your spines, I would highly suggest it. Yeah, we'll link all the books down in the show notes if you want to check out any of these. But we really liked all of these books. Overall, I think Canada was really fun. Um, yeah. Our daughter knows where it is on the globe now, which, I mean, for a five-year-old, I think is success. <laughs> yeah, and you, you know, from you know, we just came off of Blossom and Root, the early early years. Volume 2. Uh, volume 2. Um, and coming up, it was it was a good start for us mm -hmm. to kind of get our sea legs again. You know, we've been doing the curriculums for about two years now with our older daughter. Being able to get into this kind of combo curriculum was a nice change. It, you know, it got me back into it because I am the primary educator and mm -hmm. stay-at-home dad. Um, it was a good way to kind of get our, you know, get that working yeah. engine again and figuring out what we do on a daily basis. You know, it doesn't take a lot of time. You know, combining the two curriculums does seem like a lot, but it's not more than a couple hours a day. It's a lot of storybooks, really. It's a lot of reading. I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. the reading is like one page of this, two pages of that. It, it's really it's, not, a big it's deal. not complex. I think you you could definitely combine them both and do it in a week. We didn't really need two weeks, but yeah. I felt like two weeks was nice because we could really embrace the flavor of the culture and watch a lot of extension videos, which we did. So um, if you haven't got a chance to check out our North America Resources Guide, definitely check it out. It's free in the show notes uh, because we have a lot of extension videos and extension books and things that you could bring in. Uh, for, mm -hmm. for all the different countries in North America and we did and we loved a lot of the videos We did a lot of like 4k flyovers and yeah, things which stuff. was just lovely to have on in the background Even when they were doing art and things and they could kind of get a sense of the landscape of Canada Absolutely, so we're gonna be doing this every couple of weeks. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna be covering to. every region And so hopefully you can hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel Follow with us follow with these videos and if you have time head on over subscribe to our podcast Which comes yeah. out twice a week yeah, check, and it out. check it out. It's a lot of fun. We talk about a lot of games. We talk a lot about You know things to learn, you know doing topics We have great interviews with people mm -hmm. from our community and also experts in the in the homeschooling uh, you know, Area and so we hopefully you can join us and we look forward to seeing more. Thanks. Thanks. Bye <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time. Happy homeschooling!